questions from coach? That's how you explain the shift between the first half and the second half and how quickly that thing got lopsided on you. Yeah, I mean, you know, big thing we talked about uh, all throughout the week is, you know, finding a way to use the emotions of the night in our favor and wanted to get the crowd into it right away. They were phenomenal uh, right from when we started senior night. Uh, you know, obviously right all the way through, uh, you know, that, that first half, they, they gave us an unbelievable lift. We were flying around. I thought our contests were maybe as good as they've been all season and uh, came out, got a basket to start the second. Derek scored it to put us up 14. And then obviously it unraveled from there. And, you know, give Michigan State credit. They came out and, and made shots. I think they made their first five threes in the second half. And then they got comfortable and confident. And that's how this game is when, when you get, uh, comfortable, you get on a roll like that, it's hard to stop. We've handled adversity, adversity is beautifully all year. We really have, especially in this latest stretch. Um, and obviously that did not happen tonight. And a lot of it had to do with them uh, knocking down shots. But I didn't think our contests were as spirited in the second half, obviously, as they were in the first. And then they hit some bombs at the end of the clock, uh, you know, to really create separation. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's disheartening. It, it, it hurts. Uh, you know, we haven't felt that in that locker room in a while. And now how are we going to respond to that? We've responded well the last couple of weeks to, uh, you know, finding a way to put solid performances behind us and, and move on to the next one. Uh, you know, it's, it's disappointing. It's a hurt locker room and got to find a way to put it behind us. We're playing Iowa uh, Sunday, who looks like they had an unbelievable performance tonight, what they did against Michigan State in their last one. And we got to learn from the uh, mistakes that were made. And, you know, we played some pretty damn good basketball tonight for a, a good, healthy chunk of that game. Uh, you know, I heard Tom say this after their Iowa game. They played 38 and a half minutes, probably their best basketball of the season. We played, unfortunately, 24 really good minutes of basketball. And then, you know, when they got rolling, it was hard to shut them off. Minutes left. What, what do you think marked that drought? I know there were two offensive fouls in there, but there were eight missed shots as well. Yeah, and you know some turnovers. That way, had some good looks that, that we didn't knock down. Um, you know, we had too many turnovers in the second half, and you got to find a way to, to get a quality shot up on the board. Uh, you know, they capitalize off turnovers, and you know, even though we got it handed to us the first time, we actually took pretty good care of the ball in East Lansing tonight. You know, 14 turnovers led to I think 20. Uh, 20 points, and then the second chance. That's really what kept them in the game, I thought, in the first half was the eight second chance points. And, uh, you know, they were more physical than us. We talked about taking care of the glass, and we'd, we'd have a pretty damn good chance to win the game. Uh, but again, they, they got comfortable, and, and some of that was off our turnovers. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys. I got, I got one more. Fred, um, obviously, it was a super disappointing night, but Jamarcus Lawrence had one of his best games. Um, I guess what his evolution, and obviously it's kind of picking a bright spot on a dark day, but what, what did you take away from his performance? In the yeah, game? I mean, Jamarcus, he got us off to a great start again, very similar to what he did against Minnesota when he knocked down shots early in that game. Uh, I think he had nine early points in, in that game and, and got himself to the free throw line. And tonight he, he was confident in the shot. He, he rose up without any hesitation. You know, the kid can really shoot the basketball, and he can have stretches where he can go on a great run. And, and he did that in the first half uh, tonight. He's a good downhill driver. He can get himself to the rim. Kid's got a heck of a future. He's, he's one of the uh, young guys that has really benefited from the adversity that our team has faced, and he's taken great advantage of it and shown that he's going to be a great player uh, in this league and all the way through his future. He's got a heck of a career in front of him. And, you know, playing behind Sam and playing behind Emmanuel in practice every day, he'll look back on that time as he moves on in his career and realize how great of an experience that was for him to play behind really good vets and really good leaders. And, you know, that, that's going to benefit him greatly. We're going to need him to be one of the leaders on this team next year when we lose Sam and Emmanuel and Derek. Um, you know, specifically, and you know, that's going to have the young guys are going to have to pick up the slack in that area. But Jamarcus has learned from some great ones. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah. And you know, unfortunately, we had you know a couple of cramps again today. And you know, Casey, you know, had it rolling. He, he, you know, couldn't get him back in there. He couldn't get the cramp out of his leg. And uh, you know, same thing with Jamarcus. He got a cramp in his in his hamstring. So um, you know, hopefully, 
you know, again, if we have any chance here of, of doing anything in the postseason, we're going to have to go on a run. And, you know, part of that is playing a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, but, you know, everything right now is about Sunday. Thanks,